Have you ever had a game where you try and enjoy it and it has its good moments, but it ends up being so annoying you think stuff that for a barrel of laughs and give up? Well, such was my experience with Never Alone. I went back to it several times hoping it would become less frustrating, and while it did for a time, it wasn't long before I once again was almost driven to drinking even more alcohol than I already do to try and numb the pain. Don't get me wrong, the game did have its moments of genius in the puzzles you have to overcome, but I'll talk more about those later. The game is an adaptation of an Inuit story which I'll probably pronounce completely wrong. Kanuk Sayuka. The game has changed a few things, like involving a young girl called Nuna rather than a boy, but even so, the story revolves around Nuna trying to find out what is causing a blizzard that has ravaged her village and try to return balance to nature. You have an arctic fox helping you and you can switch between them. Nuna can move objects and has a bowler which can be used to affect the scenery, whereas the fox can fit through small gaps and can interact with spirit entities which can then be used by Nuna. As you progress through, you'll unlock info about Inuit knife, the arctic and other factual cultural insights, which was great, but I wasn't able to unlock them all because I didn't finish the game. Some of the puzzles were amazing, like getting Nuna to cling to a spirit and then use the fox to move the spirit so that Nuna can access ledges she wouldn't have been able to normally. I really enjoyed these parts, despite a few awkward control issues causing Nuna to fall off a cliff. I died quite a lot in the game, partly due to control issues, but partly due to not really knowing what to do. On one occasion, I was legging it away from a bear, but got caught and I happened to be behind an ice pillar, which made the incident look horrific. When you switch between Nuna and the fox, the AI takes control of the one you're not using, and normally it's fine, but when the AI makes them sit there while a spirit thing comes along to whisk them away, but all you can do is yell at the screen telling them to get out of the damn way until the spirit does its job causing a game over, it's a case of you bastard. It was at that stage that I decided I had enough. Yes, it has a nice art style, yes, it's got some good puzzles, yes, it's good to check out the cultural insights, but when the game screws you over time and time again, it's a case of no.